Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. We have here the new flagship phone from ZTE, the Axon 40 Ultra. What makes this one stand out is its cutting edge under display selfie cam. So let's have a look at that and the phone's other key features in our hands-on video. The Axon series isn't exactly a popular one, but ZTE is still trying to push the boundaries, especially with the top model, the Axon 40 Ultra. It's a large phone with a squared off, sleek design. Its most unique feature though is on the front, with the 16 megapixel selfie cam that sits beneath the display. It's not the first time we've seen this tech, this is the third generation, but it is the first time that ZTE has been confident enough to include it on the Ultra flagship model. It brings improvements like a higher pixel density of the screen above it, and a new sub-pixel arrangement of the camera sensor to make it even more seamless and less visible than before. The selfie cam is pretty hard to spot, and the setup allows for an unbroken front screen and a more immersive experience when enjoying your media. For selfies, the camera needs to use AI to compensate for the distortion from sitting underneath the glass of the display. We'll see if the quality has improved since last year's Axon 30. The screen itself is quite advanced. It's a 6.8 inch curved AMOLED with a full HD plus resolution and fast 120Hz refresh rate. It includes plenty of flagship grade goodies like HDR10+, 10-bit color, a 360Hz multi-finger touch sampling rate, and high-frequency PWM dimming, which reduces flickering at lower brightness levels. It is worth noting that last year's Ultra model did have a higher 144Hz refresh rate though. You can wake up and unlock the phone with an optical under-display fingerprint reader. And you get a pair of stereo speakers here too. The interface is ZTE's MyOS 12 on top of Android 12. It's a pretty straightforward one, quite similar to stock Android, but with a few cosmetic changes. As a flagship, the Axon 40 Ultra brings this year's high-end Android chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It's notorious for running hot, but here there's an advanced passive cooling system that may help prevent overheating. The phone is powered by a 5000 mAh battery, which is a larger capacity than what we saw on last year's model and you also get 65 watt fast charging with an adapter that comes in the box. The Axon 40 Ultra brings three 64 megapixel cameras on the back, a main cam with OIS, a 5.7x periscope telephoto cam with OIS, and an ultra wide cam that can take close ups from as close as 4 centimeters. The main and ultra wide cam both use a tricked out custom 64 megapixel Sony sensor, and it has full pixel omnidirectional autofocus. Plus, the main cam has an unusually long 35mm focal length. Well, unusual for a camera phone. 35mm lenses have been a staple in photography for a long time. Speaking of focal lengths, while ZTE does claim its zoom camera provides up to 5.7x optical zoom, that's actually compared to the ultra-wide camera. The periscope lens here is only 91mm long, so compared to a regular 26mm main cam you'd see on most camera phones, it's more like a 3.5x zoom. There are plenty of camera modes and features, including one which lets you shoot with all three cameras at the same time, with a single click. And all of the cameras have support for 8K video recording too. So there you have it, the Axon 40 Ultra looks like it brings quite enough to stand out from the crowd. All that's left to see is how it holds up quality-wise. Let us know what you guys think and I'll see you soon with our full review.